one type of objectionable parallel is known as the parallel octave, which is where you have two voices that start as an octave and move in the same direction uh, in parallel to another octave. So in this case, if you can see it, uh, see if you can figure out, pause for a second, see if you can find a parallel octave happening. Okay, now that you had a chance to take a look, you'll notice that the soprano and the tenor are an octave apart, and they both move in parallel motion to another octave, C to B. Okay, never do that. Don't do that. It, it doesn't matter if it's between the bass and the soprano, or bass and tenor, or, or soprano and tenor, and soprano and alto. If it happens anywhere between any of the four voices, um, it's a major error. You don't want to do that. It calls too much attention in such a uh, sparse texture. It's four. It's only four different parts. If you have anything doubling that, that way, where the, they're moving in octaves, it goes from one octave to another octave, uh, the same octave, then uh, you're calling, you're drawing a lot of attention to those, to that uh, particular vocal motion, and um, it kind of uh, it, it, it destroys a little bit the, the the texture. So always avoid parallel octaves.